Hey kids, Dr. Brooks here. We're at lesson six on trigonometry and the unit circle. And today we are going to learn how to convert. So we are going to go from terms of pi to degrees and from degrees to terms of pi or what we will call pi radians. So earlier in this unit, we discussed the fact that we can use the fact that pi equals 180 degrees for conversion. So um, I, I've chosen two angles that already fall on the unit circle, and hopefully at this point you can look at pi over three and say that's 60 degrees, and you can look at 120 degrees and say that's two pi over three. And the reason that you can do that is because you have practiced your note cards, and you've looked at these note cards, Maybe you had a family member quiz you to make sure that you know how to go from degrees to terms of pi and um, terms of pi to degrees and spend some time with your unit circle. But what I didn't spend a whole lot of time on was the actual conversion. So let's, let's do that here. So pi is 180. All you need to do is put in 180 for pi, divide that by three, Three sixes are 18, so that goes in six with a zero, and you get 60 degrees. And then for 120 degrees to pi radians, what you do is you write 120, and then it's times pi over 180. Okay, so what you do is you leave pi in the answer, and you reduce the numbers that you have. So I like to cross off the zeros. The zeros are gone. I know I'm gonna have pi in the answer and it's going to be in the numerator. And then I think, what number divides both 12 and 18? Well, six does. Six goes into 12 two times and it goes into 18 three times and that's why I know the answer is two pi over three. So should you forget on a quiz or a test or a standardized test, any of the degrees to terms of pi or terms of pi to degrees, you can use this for conversion. Now, what about angles that we didn't learn on our unit circle? So I'm gonna show you how to convert those today. Now these are numbered because I have a worksheet up for you on Schoology, um, one through 20. So you are going, if you pay attention to the video, you get six free answers today. I'm gonna to use them as examples. I chose number one because it's a negative, and I don't want you to be confused if there's a negative in front. You just keep the negative, and you do what you did up here with degrees to pi radians. So I'm going to go negative 200 times pi over 108, and I'm going to reduce. Again, I like to just, if I have zero on top, zero on the, on the bottom, I cancel those out, leave the negative in the answer. What divides both 20 and 18? Two does. Two goes into 20 10 times. Two goes into 18 nine times. And we have a pi in the numerator. And that is simplest form. We can't reduce any further. How about number six? 600 degrees. So we go 600 times pi over 180. And I can cancel one of the zeros. Now 60 and 18 are obviously both divisible by six. 60 divided by six is 10. 18 divided by six is three. That's pi, and then just check, no, there's nothing else that divides both 10 and three, so it's 10 pi over three is the answer. So 170 degrees, this is your number 10. We just go 170 times pi over 180 cancel the zeros. Nothing other than one divides both 17 and 18, so the answer to this is 17 pi over 18, and that's your answer, okay? So the first 10 are like that. Um, the second half of the worksheet, we're going from pi to degrees, so you're just going to substitute 180 in for pi. So 13, you would go negative 13, and then this is 180, there you go. So if you want to, you could do all of this on the calculator, you get out your calculator and go 13 times 180, divide that by 12, 
and you get 195, there's a negative in the answer, negative 195 degrees. You could have reduced and multiplied, that would have been fine too, however you wanna do it. Um, number 17, 10 times 180 divided by nine. Okay, so let's not use a calculator for this one. So nine goes into 18 two times, so it goes into 180 20 times. And then 10 times 20 is 200, so you get 200 degrees. And again, you could have done that with your calculator. 10 times 180 divided by nine and got your 200 degrees, and that one's positive. And finally, number 20 I chose for you. I'm gonna substitute 180 in for pi. 11 times 180 divided by three. Three goes into 180. That's 60 times, so 11 times 60. You're gonna get 660 degrees. And maybe you wanna check with your calculator and say 11 times 180 divided by three and you got 660 degrees. So that's how to convert from pi to degrees and degrees to pi radians. So for homework, um, I have the worksheet up on Schoology. Go ahead and do that and you can just take a photo of that and send it to me to prove that you know what you're doing with conversion. Thanks a lot, hope you have a great day.